Central Memorial Hospital started in 1986 and since its inception has grown into one of the largest private hospitals in Central Kenya. We are the pioneers and one of the leading hospitals in arthroscopy, keyhole surgery and arthroplasty, joint replacement and other joint surgeries. Dr. Kirat Shah, Senior Orthopedic Specialist and Fellow in Backache with 40 years experience, started joint replacement in 1991 and revision from 2001 at Central Memorial Hospital, Tika. He is a pioneer in many orthopedic surgeries in Kenya, for example, complex joint fracture, external fixation, arthroscopic surgery, joint replacement, revision joint replacement and laser treatment for disc bulge. Hi, I'm Dr. Kiritsa, orthopedic surgeon from Nairobi, Kenya. COVID-19 gave me a great opportunity to study and evaluate my past work of revision orthopedic surgery. Central Memorial Hospital has established Premchand Vrajbal Revision Orthopedic Unit, PVROU, to revise the complications that follow bones and joint surgeries performed previously. The department is one of its kind in East Africa. PVROU is dedicated to late Premchand Vrajbal, who was a very well-known, reputable, prominent businessman and a philanthropist in Tika. He built his house, bungalow, in 1937, where at present the hospital is running with his blessings. Revision orthopedic surgery is very challenging, complex, time-consuming, expensive, as well as high rate of complications. Brampton Rajpa Revision Orthopedic Unit performs revision orthopedic surgery at a reasonable rate and also helps needy patients. I would like to present a small video documentary on PVROU and its activities. PVROU is run by Dr. Kirat Shah, trained in India, Europe and South Africa for joint surgery. He was an honorary lecturer at Aga Khan University and was running the hospital clinic for arthroscopy and arthroplasty. He was also an honorary visiting orthopedic consultant at Mulago Hospital, Makarere University for the development of the arthroscopy and arthroplasty department. He frequently visits India to perform revision arthroplasty surgeries. BVROU is now using modern techniques, equipment and materials such as helmet system, operating suits, prostalac system, prosthesis made from antibiotic loaded cement for controlling infections, versatile Hoffman's external fixator, Hanu switch system for revision total hip, arthroscopic tower and system, cement gun, bio bone cement, specialized revision implants and instruments and ESWT and others in surgeries. With these new technologies, PVROU has become the most advanced unit in performing specialized joint surgeries and redoing bone surgeries from other facilities that may have developed complications. PVROU has been regularly receiving the patients from various countries in Africa. We have been operating on patients from Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Somalia, Sudan, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Congo and countries as far as Cameroon and Sierra Leone. Apart from revision, PVROU is also involved in training and transferring the modern orthopedic technology to young doctors in Kenya. For example, high flex knee, ceramic to ceramic hip and immediate post amputation prosthetic etc. Hi, I'm Sunil Shah, 64 years old, uh, from Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, in 2012, severe arthritis in my hip. Then Dr. KJ Shah did a hip replacement operation using a specialized ceramic to ceramic implant. We did this in Ahmedabad. Uh, and since then, it has been eight years now. I am perfectly mobile. For the last four years, we have been working on minimum invasive techniques and procedures that provide an alternative to surgery. Procedures like ESWT, extracorporeal shockwave therapy, 
is a sound alternative to surgery. It is highly effective for the treatment of sports injuries, stubborn orthopedic conditions, for example, calcaneal spur, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, and tendinitis, etc. Cell therapy, BRP injection, that is, platelet-rich plasma, injected for the damaged tendons, cartilage, and muscle. 50 to 60 ml of blood is withdrawn from the patient. Centrifuge and PRP is separated. After this, PRP is injected in damaged area using ultrasound. Percutaneous laser disc decompression, treatment of disc bulge, cervical and lumbar. The spinal needle is inserted in the center of the disc under local anesthesia with fluoroscopic guidance. Tiny 0.4 mm laser glass fiber is introduced in the spinal needle. Laser fiber is then connected with laser equipment and laser energy is applied, which reduces volume and pressure of the disc. As a part of our future expansion plans, we are currently working on the logistics of the following procedures. Vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty for the treatment of osteoporotic compression fracture of the spine, that is, vertebral augmentation with bone cement. Stem cell therapy for avascular necrosis of the head of femur. ACI, autologous chondrocyte implantation for cartilage damage. My name is Gay O'Brien. I had a first hip operation in South Africa and I had a lot of pain and I had to have a second operation on the same right hip here in Nairobi. It is now three years since I had that second operation but I feel very well. I was operated on my right hand, on my right hip in 2000 at uh, Cambridge Hip and Knee Hospital. Um, I developed a, a pain which was diagnosed as an infection was uh, advised to consult uh, Dr. Shah who then advised me um, that um, he will perform a two-stage operation I recovered uh, very well after and uh, the pain has now gone. Hello, my name is Rafael Ngade. I'm 73 years old. In 1979, I had a hip replacement. Around 2012, I started having serious problems again with my hip. And, uh, I consulted Dr. David Shah. Dr. Shah uh, did a new hip replacement with new implants, uh, with special implants, special grafting in December 2015. And now, four and a half years later, I'm a changed man. I walk about only with a slight limp, without pain. I can play golf. I'm very happy. Indeed. My name is Nancy Kiamba. I have been suffering from rheumatoid arthritis and I was almost bedridden. In the year 2010, I was operated on both knees and fortunately the right knee developed a problem. So it was redone again by Dr. Krit Shah in the year 2012. And since then, I am okay, I can walk, I'm being free, and I can do my jobs perfectly. I thank Dr. Shah for that. Hello, my name is Lionel Ishimwe. I'm a 29-year-old Rwandan who had a motorcycle accident in Kigali last year in 2019. I broke my wrist, elbow, 
I had to undergo an emergency surgery that was unsuccessful. I then traveled to Kenya under the advice of Dr. Giri. I was operated by Dr. Shah on my wrist and elbow as a corrective surgery. Uh, this was successful. I'm very happy with the result and I'm very thankful for the work of Dr. Shah. March last year, 2019, my mom had fractured her right femur and was operated upon, which was not successful. We consulted Dr. KJ Shah, who did second surgery. Now we are happy with the outcome as my mom is able to work with support and we are hoping she'll be working without any support soon. Thank you, KJ Shah. I am Yusuf. I had an accident, broken through. After that, I was operated. After one year, I had uh, infection and uh, a lot of pain. The bone was not joining. And after that, I went to Dr. Shah. He did two operations. And now the bone is less pain, joining together. Alhamdulillah, it is doing well. Hi, I'm Bernard, brother to Kevin. My brother had deformed leg and retired very many symptoms, but there was no success. Dr. Shah did operation in 2015, and my father is very grateful with the outcome. And also, thank him for helping, for helping financially. and my son Yusuf was suffered for deformity of leg and tried many hospital without success. I was referred to Dr. Shah Central Memorial Hospital it was complex operation and I am happy with the outcome. Hi, my name is Andrew. Uh, in uh, 2010, I started having shoulder dislocations on my left shoulder. Uh, my shoulder used to dislocate on average about uh, two to three times a day. It was very bad. Uh, in 2013, I then decided to get surgery on the left shoulder and I got surgery at Nairobi Hospital. The surgery at Nairobi Hospital was, however, not successful uh, and the shoulder dislocated again shortly six months later. In November 2015, after two years post the first surgery, I went and consulted Dr. Kirit and, of course, gave him the, my history. He gave me all options available to me and I opted to go for a second surgery, but this time led by Dr. Kirit. Uh, we did the surgery successfully in 2016 and four years now my shoulder is strong, the strength has returned and I'm actually very grateful to Dr. Kiwit for not only saving my shoulder but saving my life.
During COVID-19, we started online free consultation for complex orthopedic cases and we would like to continue.